speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate, the Deputy Chief Justice and Vice President of the Supreme Court, the Honorable Philomena Mwelo, the Governor of the Nairobi City County, Johnson Sakaja, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, members of the Diplomatic Corps, political and other leaders, distinguished and invited guests, dear Kenyans, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, today Kenya is 59 years old. A 59-year mark is a point of either great joy and hope in life or a point of despair. For Kenya, it marks a departure towards a great life ahead. Since 1964, when Kenya became a republic, we have come a long way. Kenyans have worked hard and built a strong nation, a peaceful and respected nation with a wonderful people and great heritage. Mr. President, I have had no greater hope than I have today. As we build on the progress we have made over the years, Kenya is ready for a great takeoff under the Kenya Kwanzaa plan under your leadership. Although we are facing several challenges, we'll offer you all the support to deliver to the people of Kenya as promised. If anything, we must live as envisioned by our forefathers and freedom fighters who remain great and dear to us every day. They shed their blood for us into the future but ahead of us is great work. Mr. President, every year we have marked this day with new hope and great aspirations as a people. This year, under your leadership, we take a greater leap, not just into our history, but into the future, especially on the singular aspect of technology and innovation. As a departure from the past, where tech economy was a mirage, Poverty, illiteracy, and disease was our common denominator. These three enemies made majority of Kenyans slip into a life of great indignity. Your Excellency, today, Kenya has made a considerable progress in the tech race. We celebrate our young people who have continued to make us proud in this space. We encourage them to move with greater speed and dominate not only regionally, but also globally, just as we have done in athletics. This is a great tool towards human liberation. Mr. President, this course is indomitable. This is a path to an equal Kenya, where every child goes to school, every Kenyan has food on the table, where every Kenyan has access to quality and universal health care, where every Kenyan has clean and safe drinking water. We are leaving no one behind in this race. Your Excellency, this is the leadership our nation requires in the 21st century as we move closer to realizing Kenya's Vision 2030. We are also, we are also set to reap our demographic dividend since the window of opportunity opens in the year 2039, if we are well prepared. I have no doubt in my mind that we are on the right move as a nation. Before I invite Your Excellency, allow me on my own behalf and on behalf of the people of Kenya to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Your Excellency, it is now my singular honor and duty to welcome you to address the people of Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President.